Hey, what's up guys? Patrick here with Wrap4. Hey, talking to you today about rail covers. Okay, so here I have a T68 decked out to look like a G36. And as you can see, I have the mid-length Riz handguard on here. Now, if I'm not gonna be using these rails for accessories, the problem with that is that if I go to grip it, it's really gonna tear my hand up, it's gonna tear my glove up. So what I do is I use rail covers whenever I can, and I can go over the different kinds we sell here. Okay, so here I have a set of standard RIS rail panels. Now these only come in black, and they're extremely easy to install. Any uh, mil-spec Picatinny rail will accept them. You just slide them on and lift the tab at the end. A little tooth's gonna bite and make sure they don't go anywhere. And now something as simple as these are gonna greatly improve your life if you're out there playing all day instead of holding on to this rail. Now if you have gloves, you'd be in a little bit better position, but those are gonna get chewed up after a game or two. So do yourself a favor, get some uh, RIS rail covers or some of these other ones I'm about to show. So here I have the ergonomic RAS rail covers. Now these have a lot of upgrades in them. First of all, they're available in tan or black. I'm gonna be using tan so you can see what I'm doing. Also, they're rubberized. So it's a lot better finish on here, a lot better grip, and they'll last you a little bit longer if they get hit. Also, because they're such a small size, you're gonna be able to mount an accessory and arrange these around them. So here I have a Rat4 tactical flashlight on this rail. And I'm able to mount two of these behind it. All right, and the finished product's gonna look like that. Now that's gonna give me really good coverage here, good grip, keep my hands from getting torn up, and I'm able to accommodate everything that I want. If I wanted a bipod here, or even a vertical grip, wouldn't be any, uh, any problem to arrange these accordingly. Okay, so here we have the Stingray RIS rail covers. Now these are available in OD, black, or tan here. I'm using tan so you can see it against the marker. Uh, now, these come in two different size packs. You can either get the four pack, which will just be these long ones that cover an entire mid rail, or you can get an eight pack, which have all these different sizes. So you have long, medium, and short over here, uh, just to accommodate the accessories you have on the marker. These install the same way as the uh, standard RIS panels. Uh, they're very durable, very sturdy, um, even has a little updated grip on there. Get your hand, get a good grip on that. Um, right here you can see this one, uh, this mid rail, perfectly accommodates a single accessory on the side. Highly recommend these. So here we have the Matador rail covers. Now these are also rubberized. They are full size, so they're gonna cover an entire uh, mid-size rail. And these attach the same way as the ergonomic ones in that they just slide on sideways. Now they're really easy, in, easy to install, but they're not gonna come off by accident. Um, really good grip on these. These come in a pack of one or two. If you get the two pack, you save a little bit of money. I um, highly recommend these. Also, they have uh, these seams down the middle that if you wanted to cut them into half size so you could fit a flashlight like I had earlier, you'd be able to do that without sacrificing any of the integrity of it. Just be sure to, uh, if you cut it, go ahead and uh, just trim up the edges a little bit, get rid of any sharp edges that might be there. Um, you highly recommend these ones, good grip, very durable, gonna last you a long time. Now here we have the low profile rail covers. Now these are my favorite. One, I like the look. Two, they're the most minimal. Three, they have a groove down the middle that really helps you sink your fingers in. Now, the only downside of these, are these take the longest to install, and I'm gonna show you how. So for every one of the rungs here in this little ladder, you're gonna put it into the gap on the rail. Now, sometimes they wanna slip in nice and easy like that. Sometimes they're a little more difficult. Now, once you start to get in a rhythm, you kinda stretch it out for every rail. It gets a lot easier, but at first it might seem like they don't fit. Well, they're a little undersized on purpose so that they are nice and tight when they fit on there and that they won't go anywhere over time. Now, the good thing about these as well is that these are the most customizable as far as cutting them to fit accessories. You can cut them on any one of these rails uh, to go ahead and accommodate whatever your layout is. Uh, for the most part, when you uh, attach a flashlight or a laser to your marker, you're pretty much just gonna leave it there because that's when you start to get used to it that you put it there for a reason. Uh, so it's pretty safe bet to uh, cut these accordingly and that way you don't have any rails exposed to your fingers. And uh, these are a little bit longer than our mid-sized rail as you're about to see. Okay, so here I am at the end. Looks like I have about three rungs here over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that last one off, pull it up, take a box cutter, and very carefully slice it off. Okay, so you're gonna be able to do that to accommodate any kind of flashlights, uh, vertical grips, bipods, anything you wanna to attach to these rails, be able to have these in between. Now, what's really cool about this one is it comes in uh, foliage green, 
tan as shown here or black. Now the black one you can even you can barely even tell it's on there. It matches the rail so well. Uh, I prefer to have tan on all my weapons as you can see the ones I built. Uh, now the, the foliage green, now that's, uh, that's another word for ACU gray and that one is pretty close to OD as well. So if you have olive drab accessories all over your marker or if you're running woodland camo, that's also going to blend in with that. It's somewhere in between, it's kind of a one color fits both. Uh, so don't worry about that if you're running OD. Uh, these are definitely my favorite and I highly recommend them. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now if you have any suggestions about any videos for the future, go ahead and go on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash rep4usa. Go ahead and shoot me a post. Say, hey Patrick, I want to see a video on whatever it may be. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you out there. There is hope.